Hey, welcome back to Pickleball Central and Davis Pickleball. We're glad to have you here. We're super excited to be launching a brand new series, a workout series specifically designed for pickleball. So here we have Coach Dustin here. He is a guru. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself, Dustin? Yeah, so I've been teaching fitness from corrective exercise to athletic performance for over a decade. And so we've seen everything from how do we get the most out of our body? How do we make it look good on the way? Because obviously that's the nice little bonus. But what we're going to focus on here is how to perform better pickleball wise. Exercising is going to help improve and escalate your game. So let's get right into it. In this video, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about how to move better on the court, specifically at the kitchen. So a lot of times balls are low. Sometimes we feel a little bit slow to get there. We're going to get you nice and fast, nice and mobile. Your back's going to feel better and you're going to play better pickleball too. Let's get into it. So the very first one is going to be that lateral lunge. So what we're gonna do is a lot of times in pickleball, obviously we wanna stay low. So the lateral lunge, we're trying to work these muscles here, the quads, and we're gonna get some glutes too. So we're gonna work the butt a little bit as well. But this is what's gonna help us stay low comfortably because we play better pickleball from down here. Yep. But a lot of times if our legs are tired, we tend to stand up taller. So we wanna make it really, really easy to stay down here. So when you're down here, trying to fire these muscles here and then the glutes back here. That's what's gonna push through the ground as much as you can. So it might have been a workout we've done before, but when we take it out to the side, really, really squeeze through the, the ground. I mean, really intentionally, we're doing this where we're squeezing. And I'm, I'm trying to keep them here for a little bit so this baby turns on. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, yep. So what we're gonna do is reset for the beginning. We're gonna do five seconds. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do five. So one, two, good, that, woo! was because he's really squeezing. I don't want you to just count to five. I want you to squeeze for five as much as you can. So now hold for four. One, two, three, four. Yep, he's trying to make this do as much as possible. He's not trying to just complete the exercise. So now that you've done four, hold for three and do three. You have the opportunity in three seconds, four seconds, five seconds to squeeze that as hard as you can. Don't just count, squeeze it. Yeah. Woo! And he did a really good job of really squeezing this while he did it. Because yeah. honestly, if he did the exact same thing, but you weren't intentional about squeezing this, it actually wouldn't have been that hard. Yeah. And that's how we kind of waste time when we work out. So if we've ever done workouts before where we say, hey, I, mean, I kind of did them, but I didn't get the results I wanted. We might not have pushed ourselves inside of the workout as much as we needed. So let's go ahead and do the other side, one side too. So now you know the format, five second hold. So go down nice and low, as low as you're comfortable. So if we're not quite as mobile, and it doesn't feel very good for our back or our hip to be that low, just go as low as you can before that pain period starts. And by doing that, we're gonna help teach our body to be able to do that and then start to get through that pain. That's how we increase our mobility safely. So now that you've done five, do four. So go back down, hold for four, yep. Four seconds is your opportunity to squeeze and then up for four, yep, keep going. When we do three rounds of that, that is plenty. When we work out, we're act the goal is not actually to annihilate. We're yeah. looking to stimulate, not annihilate. Yeah. And this is gonna stimulate blood to the area which is gonna free up our hips. So if we feel tight, we sit on the couch, we sit at work, we sit in the car, we sit a lot. So by doing this, we're gonna really get a lot of nutrients to the area. That's really gonna help us. Yeah, doing these motions, I definitely feel, it feels familiar. Like it feels like, okay, this is kind of what I do when I go for like cross court dinking. Yep. I definitely feel that, like just engaging exactly. all of those muscles there. Yep, and that's why it is actually nice to do with a pickleball paddle at the same time too, because you can kind of remember why you're doing it. And then if you have a paddle in your hand, you're gonna know when you play, you wanna be able to keep your chest up. So you're not gonna do this exercise like one, two, three, four, because that wouldn't be good for pickleball. Yep. But by going this way, like you said, it feels familiar, now it feels strong. So when you get pulled wide in a dink, which happens to all of us, you'll be able to do it with your eyes behind the ball, and then you can keep those compact strokes that we've talked about before because your eyes are behind the ball because this isn't hard to do because you've practiced it. Yeah. 